Now for some space news here on the program, NASA has postponed the return to Earth of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. It fer ferried two astronauts to the International Space Station on June the 5th in Boeing's first crewed space mission. But they're stuck there until NASA is happy that all technical issues are resolved, with no date set for the crew's six-hour trip home. On the way there, Starliner suffered five helium leaks and five of its 28 maneuvering thrusters failed. And within an hour, a satellite developed by the French and Chinese space agencies is set to blast off in central China with a mission to search for the biggest explosions in the universe, gamma ray bursts. The Space Variable Objects Monitor, or SVOM, will study these cosmic blasts, the brightest and most powerful in the universe, to learn more about how stars meet their end and how the universe was formed. For more, I can talk to Olivier Joalamarle, Head of Space Science at France's National Space Agency. Thanks for joining France 24. Hello, good morning. So you've worked very closely on this project. What are your emotions you're feeling ahead of this launch? Well, it's a very special uh, launch for me because uh, I joined this uh, team and uh, the force I am currently uh, uh, occupying. Uh, when the, 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 the mission starts, started, in fact, uh, more than 15 years ago. So <laughs> I, I followed it from the beginning up to, to the end. I hope it's not the end. Uh, so it's a very, very, very special emotion. And it was a big, big cooperation and big, uh, big project for us uh, with many, many engineers yes, and also in the, in the French laboratories. So it's really long awaited by many, many people. Now, it's not the only way we can detect gamma ray bursts. In fact, they were first discovered in the 60s. So what's special about SVOM? Well, there were, there were several satellites previously to detect uh, gamma ray bursts, but they were not in specifically intended to, to detect and follow and, and study the gamma ray bursts. So uh, this one, SVOM, uh, learned from, from these previous, previous missions, and uh, it was designed to, with a special uh, uh, instrument set on board, and also with a special uh, BHF um, link to, to the ground, permanent link, to be able to launch alerts very soon. Because this, uh, these gamma rebels are very uh, fugitive, you know, very sh short, uh, and uh, they must be followed on by other, other telescopes very, very fast. And SVOM has really been um, designed for years and years to be specifically very, very fast to, to launch the alert and also to move and to point its own instruments to follow the, the gamma ray bursts. Now, this project between France and China on space is fairly unusual, especially since the United States banned collaboration between its NASA and Beijing 13 years ago. So perhaps you could take us back to the start of this project. What brought about this partnership? Well, there, there was a, a rising in the, in the years 2000 of the, the intention of uh, the Chinese Academy of Science to uh, to build science satellites. Uh, so it, it was the beginning. As one was the first big project uh, of science in, in China, and um, they were very successful they, they, from then on to build uh, in building science satellites. But this one was was the first big project, and it happened that. At that time, we also had in France um, uh, a wish to do this science, but we were uh, we were um, awaiting partners because uh, it's the big satellite. We could not build it uh, on our own. We did not have uh, enough funds in France. So it was uh, the match of the right time and the right place. And, uh, that's how it began. And just take us back on these big explosions, what it's all about, these gamma ray bursts. Why do we need to learn more about gamma ray bursts? Well, the gamma ray bursts on themselves are very um, poorly known. Uh, their mechanisms are suspected to be the collapse of, uh, of massive stars or, or fusion of uh, neutron stars. But first, it's it's a guess, so we have to, to confirm that. Uh, it's very, very specific, uh, uh, very specific events. They are releasing the um, billions of billions times the energy of so the, the, the solar, the sun, uh, in less than one second. So it's very, very um, <laughs> creepy, I would say. Um, but the second point is also that they are so powerful 
then we can we can uh, witness uh, gamma reverse coming from the edge of times, from the very very beginning of, of the universe, the first stars when they died, and the light coming through the ages, so through the universe reaches, has been um, meeting all the, the, the elements that um, that the universe uh, um, uh, is is made of now. So in the light. Uh, coming from the uh, from the gamma rays, there will be some some imprints from from the, the different uh, elements uh, the the light has been crossing to reach us. So this is very it's, it's just as just as you you are in a in a space where there are dusts and, uh, and 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 fog and so on, and then there is a very powerful light uh, which is lit up at the other on the, on the on the edge of the room, I would say, so you you can see all this this fog, this dust in between. Just finally, for our viewers, then it's very soon it will be blasting off. Are you a little bit trepidatious? Are you on the edge of your seat? How are your teammates feeling? Yes, yes. Uh, space is very complex, and launchers uh, are very complex. It's uh, we, you just mentioned you produce the difficulties for the Starliner uh, uh, result to, to come back. It's, it's never 100%, uh, even if uh, China and France and other countries have, have been launching uh, hundreds and thousands of rockets for years, uh, it is never uh, done till the satellite is separated uh, on, it, on its orbit. So, yes, there is a little bit of Attention. All right, Olivier Joie-Lamarle, good luck with the launch. Thanks for talking to France 24. Thank you.